will address you. She is also going to enrich our knowledge about resume and give us some tips to strengthen our engineering skills. I hope this session is going to be useful now and for the future. Now over to Miss Nancy. Thank you. Uh, thank you for such a warm welcome and sweet intro. Uh, hope you all are doing well. So I don't want to delay your time. So now let's directly get into the technical talk, which I'm going to present now, uh, which is an engineering skill to build a great resume. So today agenda, let's uh, begin with what is an engineering skill basically and how to acquire that skill. Once acquired, how to portray it in the resume, at last, uh, the general mistakes people tends to do in resume. So how to avoid that? So coming to the topic, so what is an engineering skill? So engineering skill involves both technical and soft skill to testify your professional and personal abilities. The engineering skills on your resume shows your uniqueness among the numerous resumes to your hiring managers and provides a lasting impression to select you for an interview. Candidates should possess both soft and hard skill, which I'm going to present it in the later slides, where the hard skills apply directly into the field and soft skills come into play indirectly. So it's important for one to develop both the skills within themselves to portray it in one's resume. So uh, coming to the engineering skills, uh, these uh, are the soft skills, which are also known as interpersonal skills. So able to understand how you react with the people and to analyze your character. Uh, nowadays, organizations tend to hire candidates for their personality and character rather than the technical skill. But that doesn't mean that technical skills are not important. But as a fresher, these soft skills are more important than the technical skill to clear the interview. Uh, these are the general most required soft skill as an engineering student, uh, such as uh, communication, uh, leadership, teamwork skills, problem solving, critical thinking, attention to details, adaptability, and many more. Soft skills are universal. These are generic. But uh, when it comes to hard skills, these skills are usually focused on specific tasks and possess such job oriented skills like learning a software, being technically strong, having computer skills, design skills, further presentation and analytic skills. Now you have might got an idea how to identify the difference between soft and hard skills, but how to acquire and develop these skills to use in one's resume because hard skills get you interviews where only soft skills get you job. It's really true, but maybe sound uh, abrupt, but it's really true that hard skills really get you interview, but only the soft skill gets you the job. So you should be well versed in both the thing. So you, if you want, you can note it down the hard skills and soft skills, but jo don't just abruptly uh, put the terminologies. Instead, you have to elaborate in uh, two or three paragraphs. Uh, two or three lines, not paragraph, but in two or three lines, so that the uh, recruiter will have an understanding that you possess these skills. So once uh, we have understand the engineering skill, what is soft and what is hard skill, how to acquire that engineering skills. So coming to soft skills, as mentioned earlier, the various soft skill to develop that, prioritize which skill you want to develop list down the various skills and find out in which you lack and be open to the uh, feedback from the people and receive it as a, as a constructive criticism rather than a destructive one. So you can work on that and improve yourself. Step outside of your comfort zone and have a reflect and practice that in your day-to-day -day life. So I will repeat the four steps which you need to follow daily to improve the soft skill in your day-to-day -day life. Uh, prioritize which skill you want to develop and be open to the feedback. Step outside of your comfort zone and have a self-reflect and practice that in your day-to-day -day life. So this practice, I can assure that you to develop the soft skill you need needed. So, but how to practice that? Practice in clubs, students participate in student councils, clubs, 
which will provide abundant skills as it comes with great responsibility and also needs to work well with a group of people. Clubs and other events provides a platform to share your passion, talent, knowledge with other, as well as to observe and learn from others to cultivate the required soft skill naturally. Uh, do participate in technical events and activities which uh, focus on specialized knowledge and expertise in the respective technical field. Also helps to enhance uh, your practical exposure and be solid proof for your technical skills in your resume. Uh, it can showcase your young brains towards innovative ideas and compete with the peers. Further helps to bridge the gap between educational and actual skills required in industry. So the knowledge gained in technical events makes you smarter and will be helpful for interviews at later days. So this can happen only through participation in workshops, paper presentation, and through certified courses and even in international conferences. Initially, it will be hard, I'm damn sure. But as days goes, uh, in due course of time, you will adapt and learn towards it. It will be your start to be your passion. Now, uh, internships are become an essential way to help candidates make themselves stand out, uh, which uh, link classroom knowledge uh, with the workplace realities, learning how professional workplace operates through field exposure, uh, provides hands-on experience, uh, further helps to aware how jobs are actually more difficult and interesting than they sound. Don't do internship because it's mandatory. Learn some useful from each internship if possible do as many as you can to help out more in practical exposure and do strong in basics it's a skill that you can transfer to your future career so will be an excellent addition to your resume. Uh, coming to academic projects which enables you to apply the knowledge skill and relevant strategies to find a solution so it involves in-depth research and a realistic proof of the technical experience. It highlights your resume and will be the center of topic for most of the time in the technical round during your interviews. So concentrate and give more important to the projects that you are doing. Just don't do it for the namesake, just concentrate more on that. So you will have various numerous questions on the technical topics from your academic projects that you are going to do in your final year, as well as from some of the mini projects that you did. At last, the extracurricular activity is a foremost requirement in, uh, it's not foremost requirement in resume, but it still plays a role. These activities relevant to the job profile have motivation and a positive reflection uh, on the applicants from the recruiter sites. So I can assure you that uh, one with great skill, how to do anyone with great academic records with less skill. So start to learn and work on these skills to equip yourself for the interview, starting with soft skills, technical, internship, academic projects, and extracurricular activities. All this put together helps to form into a person uh, what the industry required. So pa participating in everything will help you to build your engineering skills that you require. So once done with your uh, uh, engineering skills, uh, once done with that, how to acquire that skills and portray it in your resume. Initially, uh, segregate the skills as soft and hard skill and list it down. Uh, then scan through the job profile and analyze the must have skills and list those if you have any of them. Uh, don't forget to mention that required skills in the resume. Uh, write the skill based on your achievements and accomplishments, which will help you uh, to have a hard on proof for your skills. Then uh, out of the uh, listed skills, choose the right skill and display at the designated space. There can be two to three soft skills and uh, four to five hard skills. Uh, you can mention directly, mention the skills uh, also indirectly through uh, online certification, achievements, internship, uh, 
uh, experience sessions also for direct mention of the skills place either at the top or on the right side for two columns format resume if it is directly you're gonna put the terminology you can use the top area of the resume if uh, otherwise you're gonna put it indirectly you're gonna brief that skill means just uh, put it on the right corner side or just put it on the experience uh, session or achievement or internship session don't only mention the title you held or the club you belong or your responsibilities and key achievements just like that always uh, gives a little description about it for uh, example so this is the one played a role of a junior executive member in civil engineering association for the year 2021 and 2022 which implies the leadership quality you can't just put it that i am good in leadership quality you have to put it in a word you have to give them a proof to the uh, recruiter that i am good in leadership quality through something that you did in your four years of engineering so this implies that you're good in your leadership quality also awarded a first or a first prize in order to competition on construction technology from builders association of india uh, later one third prize in project presentation uh, under the title sustain to remind so these both implies on the technical and communication skills how good strong you are and some other skills which implies on microsoft skills and design and extracurricular activity so all this put together helps the candidate to uh, reflect how good they are and how the uh, recruiter should be uh, well knowledge about all these things. So um, this, all this will back up your skills, mostly hard skills with other resume sections. I hope you would have got some ideas about the required engineering skills. So now get into the uh, general mistake people tends to do in a resume. So, um, for most, uh, avoid the typo and grammatical error. This may imply that the person does not give much care. So, proofread it yourself or get somebody also to help it ourselves. You can also use uh, spell check or grammar check apps. Uh, for effective resume format, avoid long paragraph. Never use the more than three or five lines have a high chance of losing the reader's attention. So include only the things which can be relevant and uh, uh, avoid too much of uh, information. To reduce the negative comments, avoid unprofessional email IDs, omit details which might show the weakness. Uh, never use skills or any facts without solid proof. It may backfire you in the interview. For example, you may put it that I am so self-confident person. But have you? there will be a question in your interview. Have you proved yourself that you are self-confident? So don't just put it bluntly. Uh, have a proof for everything. And for the, every statement that you put, have a solid proof and a solid story to say uh, to the interviewer that I am good at that. Uh, avoid irrelevant or outdated info. For example, if you did uh, 10 plus or mm, any more, uh, any online courses, never put everything. Use only the required and relevant one as per the job profile. Out of the 10 online courses, only one or two may, might be relevant to the uh, job profile that you're going to put it. So only use that. Uh, one of the first thing employer notice is the format. So avoid the poor formatting. Avoid repetitive words or phrases, uh, lack of clear endings, uh, provide correct size margin to have a plain and neat look. Uh, recruiter will be able to tell from a resume whether it's a generic or job specific resume. So uh, try to align with a specific job for which you apply. It's the best to tailor your resume to each position. Uh, Generic resume will give an assumption that you are not more focused into the work or more focused into that. So it's a best to trailer made your resume for the job role. Uh, 
at last i uh, want to give the overall view of the uh, four engineering years so that we can use it wisely so instead of wasting the four engineering years so in the first year you may have uh, no idea uh, even don't have a clue what we are doing uh, you don't even know which field will suit you or which is right for you so don't worry enjoy the first year since there will be a plenty of time keep an open mind and use most of them wisely so you won't regret it in the future uh, coming to the second year classes obviously will get harder so give your best start concentrating on your studies since it involves uh, mostly on the basics which is the foundation of the engineering you gonna pursue so please concentrate on that and give more importance to your technical academic oriented studies uh, throughout all this always find meaningful people because they will have a big influence in your life for the next four years so that you can learn and grow to same way now only uh, class is going to get harder in college but you are going to have other responsibility too so uh, quit procrastinating and do it in action so in the third year seek additional opportunities since gpa won't define everything not saying that it's not important but give some importance to other factors too which involves in uh, professional and personal learning for your growth uh, grow in technical aspects do participate in various technical events in other extracurricular activities uh, they will always give you a real life experience and knowledge as i stated earlier uh, start setting goals and ambitions in the third year itself clear goals and ambition this is the year you need to be clear about what you are going to do after engineering because this is the year you will start prepare for cat gate or higher studies or any jobs in the next year so start planning depending on your goals uh, at last uh, try to move out of your comfort zone and focus more on your career start preparing for exams and interview apply for job sites apply on job sites for off campus or prepare more yourself on technical as well as aptitude interview rounds so don't worry too much uh, be practical be wise utilize your time properly always show your desire to improve yourself it will always helps you to reach great heights uh, i know it's a short technical talk but if you have any queries or any doubts uh, let me know so that we can just uh, brief this conversation a little more and thank you for the opportunity so if you have any questions you can ask me so that i can brief you, brief you on that hello hello uh, can you hear me Hi, yeah, yeah. Um, you said uh, a general resume and job oriented resume, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Can you explain a little more about that? Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Let me go to my presentation. Okay. Uh, general resume is like that. Uh, it can be specific to if it is a, a design field, for example, it is a structural design job. So in that you have to, uh, in your achievements, you have to portray the things in which uh, design courses that you have did. Uh, in what are the uh, other uh, online certificates that you hold on towards the design field and your knowledge acquired towards design and uh, any other extracurricular uh, projects or anything that you did related to the design specific goals. If you are coming to an uh, industry uh, which uh, it's a, a IT company, if you are sitting for some IT company or anything, you should portray what are the languages you should know. So you can't put I know C and Java in a, a design specific uh, job role. So depending upon the job role, what you gonna do depending upon the job role, just portray what are the skills you require based on that. Okay, thank you. Hmm.
சோ எனி ஒன் ஃப்ரம் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இயர் சோ நீங்க தமிழ்லயும் கேட்கலாம் anything is fine edhanalum kekkala onnum prachana illa enak therinja i will try to answer my best avanga 2022 la passed out ana batch nancy avanga so adanal ipo dhaan mudichittu poyirukanga so unga enna doubt nalum kelunga so regarding any anything okay silly questions abindra mala edhum kedaiyad anything Is there you can ask me even though it is so small nothing matters hello senior hello ah ipo namma inga engineering course mudichittu adukapra masters pandrathu best ah illa na namma direct ah inda job gate exams andha mari edini job apply pandrathu best it depends upon you like if you are financially stable then you can go surely go for higher studies uh not only uh, financial status matters also what you want to do like on the future la nee enna pannanu abindra mari nenikringa endradhu like you want to do higher studies right now illa enakku vand i want to do a job offer illa core la dhaan ponu abina after once neenga civil pannu mudichadukaprame core kadaikra opportunities less compared to after com- job opportunities you get after higher studies so like in core la dhaan dam sure if you want to go abina you can opt for higher studies also and then go illa enak industry dhaan pannanum if you got a good job offer you can go for that also so it's totally depends upon you like what you want to do abindra mathri dhaan so initially you may not have a great idea like what you want to do but as poga poga like you will have a, start to have an understanding so this suits for me abindra mari so this internship la ninga pogumbodhu when you have a free exposure you will know like evlo challenges ange irukku abindra mari so and the challenges la paakumbodhu adhu enak suit aaguma whether i can able to survive in that field abindra mari you will get an idea so if you are strong enough to think that i am able to survey in that abindra mode you can directly go for the industry illa still i want to learn more uh, still i want to know more of the kaparna i want to go into an industry abindra mode so directly appa ninga higher studies mudichittu industry ku polam but either higher studies or industry abindra mari vandu said that rendu me i will do abindra mari rendu thiliyum irundinga abina and it will fulfill rendu me panna mudiyadhu nadula cat on the wall indra mari irukum so just said something which you want to do adikapram pursue on that okay akka hello yes, higher studies india la pandra the best or abroad la pandra the best akka according to your opinion according to my opinion onna iit la pandra the best india la pandra na அப்படி இல்லைன்னா ஜஸ்ட் கோ ஃபார் அதர் ஃபாரின் கண்ட்ரிஸ் இட்ஸ் பியர்லி அக்கார்டிங் டு மை நாலேஜ் பிகாஸ் நான் வந்து லைக் இன் எனக்கு ஐ வாண்ட் டு ஆப்ட் ஃபார் ஜாப் ஆஃப்டர் கம்ப்ளீஷன் ஆஃப் இன்ஜினியரிங் அப்படின்றனால ஹாவ் நோ ஐடியா அண்ட் ஹையர் ஸ்டடீஸ் பட் உங்க நிறைய சீனியர்ஸ் வந்து ஈவன் மை பேச்லி பீப்புள் வென் ஃபார் ஹையர் ஸ்டடீஸ் ஸோ என்கிட்ட கேட்கறதோட இஃப் யூ ஹாவ் டவுட் ஜஸ்ட் பிங் மீ ஐ வில் ஆஸ் தெம் ஆர் எல்ஸ் ஐ வில் கிவ் த காண்டாக்ட் to do them so avanga ungalku no higher studies la vande they will give you clear idea than me okay ka thank you yeah. so any doubt So otherwise uh, raghavendra you can proceed uh, with a vote of thanks okay sir um good afternoon to one and all it gives me an immense pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks for this event to all dignitaries assembled here on this occasion i take this opportunity to express my deepest sense of gratitude and appreciation to all those who made this event such a great resounding success firstly i would like to thank our alumni ms Nancy for giving this wonderful and extraordinary speech on this topic engineering skills to build a great resume and for spending her valuable time we feel very much enlightened enlightened in gaining much knowledge about this topic from your speech and thanks for that elaborate explanation to portray our resume and also i would like 
to thank our hod dr r kumuda ma'am and faculty coordinator mr madhyalgan sir to for creating this uh, wonderful opportunity finally i would like to thank the student members and staffs for being patient and uh, making this event a huge success sir and thank you thank you for the opportunity like if you have any queries or uh, questions you can even uh, connect me through linkedin also thank you so much for the opportunity sir thank you thank you